Hey guys, Willard E. We're back for more Sky Blazer. Now that we're done with most of the areas, we can now go through this very last one. I'm trying to figure out how to get to that one particular house, or that one particular temple up here. First and foremost, though, you want to have this ability out. You want to have freaking fall. You want to have the uh, Comet Flash out here, because this area is going to be really nasty without it. Basically, the thing about this evil water here is that you can't really jump out of it, which is really fucking annoying, honestly. So, if you get caught in the water, just charge forward. Pray to God that you don't run out of magic in the underwater, because if you obviously stay in the water for too long, you have to deal with the fact that the uh, piranhas just love how some human just drop down right in that freaking water. It just seems to not let you go, but that's the falls of torment. I'm not sure how the fuck you get to that house up there, but I'm pretty sure there's a trick. And I'm gonna definitely have to figure it out. But now we're gonna go to one of the most annoying places in the game, the Lair of Chiron. Or Chiron. Oh god. Yeah, good music, horribly annoying dungeon, much like freaking Water Temple. And again, I don't know, did War Temple have a lot of music to go along with it? But yeah, this next dungeon is really asinine in a sense. I mean, it can be a very long, tedious dungeon at that. You're gonna have to use your brains as well as your... As well as, uh, pretty much... <laughs> your Switch logic. And of course, the game is just throwing all sorts of currents up your ass too, so keep that in mind. Man, though, so far so not bad. And these turtles here, they basically shoot out a slow-moving cannibal that lasts for a long-ass while. In fact, I think it lasts throughout this until you hit it or something, which you don't want to really do. And of course, the nice thing about this level is that you can still heal underwater, so if you're getting taken too much damage, by all means, use that spell and fuck, I got stuck. Alright, so this this next room is definitely not too bad. Just keep in mind that you can climb up and down the walls if you need to fight against the currents at all, but that's only on certain walls. Like these walls up this wall in particular, you cannot grab, so keep that in mind. But if it's a solid wall, like on the edges of the stage that board around, you can just basically ignore physics and say, I got fucking climbing knuckle skills. Yeah, yo. Alright, so this next room is really the, the most annoying, because you have a ton of currents that you have to deal with. And this spell becomes pretty damn useful, because you can pretty much ignore physics, or ignore physics here, and actually take a bit of a shortcut here, but... And I think you have no choice but to take the shortcut, if you decide to do that. This next room is easily the worst, honestly. You have no choice but to fight, to, but to figure out what to do here. There's a lot of shit that you need to do here, so keep that in mind. Love that fucking dragon, because he seems to give you a ton of good stuff if you kill it. Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do here, game? Damn it. Am I supposed to hit that shit and go back? Uh, so yeah, you have to watch out for that sh You have to watch out for the nice tricks the game will throw at you here, because... This is a nice, wonderful maze of water, and god forbid the water temple is not much far further away from that shit. So yeah, I definitely want to try to figure a way around here, try to hit the switches with that wonderful spell. I guess I need to hit that back, don't I? Yep. Not great, now I just feel like I win the complete fucking circle game, damn it! So yeah, you definitely don't want to get too lost in here. Okay, is this what I need? Please tell me this is what I need. Nope, that's definitely not the right way. Eh, crap. Okay, well, ah, man, game, you're forcing me to go this way? Shit. So yeah, this level is easily one of the most annoying. Just trying to figure a way through this place is gonna t definitely take you a lot of time, honestly. And great, I just made, just basically put myself back to start and have to redo everything. So yeah, that's basically the maze-like quality that you're going to have to deal with, so tr try to do a good job figuring this place out. I mean, the sooner the better, and there's a good useful, or there's a good showcase of how useful this attack is on this stage. I think you can maybe get away with using, again, Comet Flash, because it's that fucking good. What you want to do here is you want to try 
try to get into that doorway. Let's see if I can use Comet Flash. Yeah, there we go. Ah, damn it, I need to go this way anyway. So yeah, what you want to do here is you want to go up and around. Hit this damn thing with this attack because you don't want to go that way. So yeah, you're going to have to mix and match here between the first ability that you get and Comet Flash. And once you get through that wonderful mess of a maze, you have to fight the most annoying boss in the game. And here's the hard way to do it. You're going to have to do this slowly. You're going to have to lead these huge fucking fish away from you. And try not to fight these guys because they're that fucking damaging. So yeah, here's the strategy, guys. If you do not have lightning, lure these fucking huge ass fish away from you. And try to do this tactic. Try to trap them against the wall if you can. If you, can't, if you don't get lucky, that can happen. They can just sneak up on you while you're trying to kill the clams. So yeah, this boss is really the most annoying of the, in the game. There's not much you can do about it if you don't have a certain spell. But here's the ice. Ah, fuck. Damn it. Fuck off, fish. So yeah, try to use the the game's AI against the enemy, pretty much. Try to lure in such a way where it's like this. See, they're trapped now. They can't really do much. And I fucking died on a clam. Shit. So yeah, definitely want to try not to kill yourself while on the clams themselves. Because they, uh, they can be still dangerous because they do two, about two bars of damage still. Okay, come on, buddies. Over here. Come on, get, get some fresh sky. Alright, now this is good spot, maybe. Yeah, they're stuck. Fuck you, damn it! So yeah, the boss, really fucking annoying. I mean, this is the most lazy... I can't really say this is the laziest boss, but this is pretty damn close. Alright, and here's a good spot. Oh, you are not moving. Fuck you, fish. God, get the hell away. Hell away. And the, nice, the nasty thing about this boss is that it keep respawning fucking fish. So yeah, this boss is easily... I can't say anything good about this boss. It's not clever, it's not smart, it's fucking annoying as hell. I mean, once you get the boss, once you get these fishes trapped in such a way, the boss gets a lot easier, but still, it's, the boss takes a ton of fucking hits. I'm really just about time to give up on this shit. So yeah, pretty much the most annoying part about this fight. Fuck off, fish. So yeah, you pretty much have to do this the whole damn time. Fuck off, fish. Fuck off. Yeah, pretty annoying, and you have to repeat this. You have to hit this thing about ten times to kill it, I think. Fun, huh? And the problem is you can't really... Oh, you bitch, you just had to super size on my ass. Fuck, and now I'm getting my ass killed. Yeah, really annoying boss. Not much you can do about it either. Come on, fishes, you weren't very nice to me one one, one time where you could just all got stuck and I could able to be on most of these damn clams, no prob. But no, you're just being a bunch of douchebags. So yeah, good example of why this boss really fucking sucks, because you can't really square off with these fish without getting murdered. And you can't fucking go in the center and just go all out because the fish would just be on top of your ass. And they'll definitely get their hit in, which is the most annoying part. So try to get into such a situation like this. Excuse the soft fit moving fish. Yeah, fish are stuck now. And fucking died again. Yeah, that's pretty much how you're supposed to do it if you don't have this. Look how easy this boss gets when you have this. Fuckers. You can just keep using it, because this bell hurts a lot of, it does a lot of fucking damage. Damn it. Unfortunately, the boss has just seen the luck to- Oh, fucking hell. So, yeah. Ugh, I hate this damn boss so damn much. Alright, fuckers. Mmm. Mmm, punks. And it does help to try to get some magic if you can. If you don't have, you can also possibly. Oh, you had to be a bitch of a game. Fuck. I need that stuff. Stop fucking around with me, fish. I guess one other strategy that you can do, which isn't a bad idea, is to uh, 
is to try to ki kill these guys so we can get magic from them. And then you can just spam freaking Comet Flash or something. Fuck, man. That's not the smartest route, though. Oh, God forbid. Okay, I thought Lightning was a good fight, or a good magic spell for this fight, but it doesn't help to not have enough magic to use it four times to kill all these fucking fish. Hmm, God forbid these things. And here's a good example of what happens if you trap these damn fish correctly. You get them trapped here, you just spam this the whole time, and it just takes a while. Look how many hits it takes. Finally dead. And you can go over here and hit the second one as you please. So yeah, this is easily the worst fight, boss fight in the game. Just note that if you have lightning, you can just keep doing this. Oh, you bastards. Come here, come here. Come here, buddies. Mmm, punks. Give me some magic. And of course, once you kill the fish, you have to, you have to deal with this shit. When it gets down to two, two, you can make this more manageable. But not totally manageable. Fucking hell. Fuck off. Fuck off, fish. So yeah, try to... Try to stick to this wonderfully annoying strategy if you can. God, get the hell away. I'd say this is pretty much the lowest point in this game, guys. This is where the game just, like, says, fuck you. And boy, you fish aren't sneaking up on me now, are you? But luckily the AI is the reason. Explain the AI stupidity here is a way to beat it. And once you get down to one clam, you can do this action. Of course, not getting yourself caught up and killed off at the very last minute. That would really fuck things over, honestly. God, the fucking... Damn it, fish, get over here. Come on. Mm. Get the hell away. Aw, oh, damn it, game. Did you stop playing that? Okay, get the hell away. And once you get down to one clam, basically you just have to do this repeatedly, guys. You just have to kick this clam over and over again until it's dead. That's how bad that boss fight is. And what do you get for it? Time stop. How useful is it? Eh. So yeah, once you get done with all that wonderful shit with that boss, you can now go to that one particular temple where the guy's like, fucking go home. He will now say wonderfully nice things to you, like say, you can get past this damn place. Dragon Hill Forest. And I'm guessing this is more flying, right? Nope, enemy greeted right at the beginning though. Looks like it's more the uh, first level, only probably a lot harder and probably with a lot more dangerous enemies, who knows. Here's a nice demonstration time stop. Everything obviously stops like you were, but it's only temporary, so yeah. And I don't really think it also affects enemies on the screen. Here's the thing about this, this force that makes it a little bit different from the first level. Doorways! Or different enemies to get your ass killed by. Fuck you, Spiderhead man. Shit. Damn it, Centurion, stop killing me! So yeah, you're gonna have to try to figure your way out through this damn door maze. Shit. Not cool game. Oh, punks. It's like the freaking Forest of Illusion only with doors now. That's not cool. And by all means, use heal to get through this damn place. It, it would seem a little bit consequential not to do that. So this is pretty interesting considering this, this is the first... This is the only, like, non-boss level with a section, with multiple sections. Thank god I caught myself there, shit. Damn it. And I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. Shit. Come on, game, you can maybe lead me to the exit here. Do I just have to keep going right, or am I going in a complete circle by doing this route? Oh yeah, I am. Fuck. Hold on just a moment. Gonna take food out. Oh, apologies. Okay, let's get our ass moving. Okay, maybe I should just go to the highest tree. Looks like this is an infinite loop if you keep going this way, guys. Let's try this doorway. Okay, getting somewhere, maybe. 
Okay, so you're just gonna have to pretty much kind of figure your way around here, see if you can find some sort of door that just leads where you want to go. Shit. Fuck off with the arrows, dudes. Hmm. Punks. Damn it. Fuck off. Is this the door? Ah, damn it. No. So just try to just figure your way around here, pretty much. And of course, it looks like I'm going in an infinite loop at this point. Let's try this door. Better? No. So yeah, just finding the right fucking door. At least it's not as bad as a freaking water temple-like area, but... This is exactly an upgrade. Shit. Oh, come on, man. I was just, like, hitting all over the damn place. Hmm. If I were a damn tree, if I were the exit, where would I be hidden? Obviously, it's not you. Fuck you. Hmm, punk. Ah, oh, there we go. That might be the exit. Fuck off. Uh, don't try to tell me that it's a fucking X or I would be pissed. It was like, in the most obvious spot, like, hmm, a cave. That makes sense. Okay, this is, this definitely looks a lot different from the last series that we've been in. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, shit. So yeah, obviously the most helpful ability here is gonna be healing, because this level can take a damn while. Especially if you keep getting lost and getting killed. Damn it. Damn- Oh, you bastard! Fucking hell, I didn't think you were gonna get through my invincibility, damn it. Oh, shit. So yeah, try not to heal after getting hit. You will get hit again. Not cool. Is this the tree out of here? Yes, thank god. And of course the game rewards you with an extra life. And we're done with that shit. Thank god. The Great Tower, and I think we're going to stop here, guys. So next time, we're going to climb up the Great Tower and see how much evil bullshit... Oh, wow. Interesting green card, like, spikes everywhere. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and adios.